Hello everyone, today I am going to go over how to set up your Asperon software in order to make it easier for you to be successful in the Rewazd software and have you do less adjustments constantly. For example, getting your um, ankle correct or your rotation correct is big. So in your Asperon software, you can set it up so that your rotation is right where you want it and you won't ever have to mess with this rotation, right? You can leave it at default, which makes it much easier for you um, in the long run. So you don't have to constantly go in here and put it to what you want, right? It just keeps it and it makes it pretty much the new default for Rewast. So what we will do is start off with this website. This is gamepad-tester.com. I will put the link in the description in order to help you out and use this. And as you can see here, it shows me exactly where my analog stick is on my Azeron. So this will help you to know that your settings are actually making a, an impact and, and actually um, being um, active and making sure that what you're doing is making a, diff a difference. So we will open up the Azeron software, go into settings, and come down to calibrate. We will begin calibration. You will leave it alone, let it do its thing. And then when you're here, you're going to go very slowly on the very outer edge. And once you hit your full 360 mark, it will stop. Boom, there you go. Now save it. You will go to your default property or your default onboard memory profile. From here, I just delete all the keybinds because I don't use the Azeron software. But again, if you have keybinds in here, it's not going to make a difference. And that was just something that I did. And you will go up to this setting here. This is where it's very important. You'll go to the setting here in the top right corner, the gear. Click on that. And so you will have Xbox 360 analog stick. The angle is what we're going to be messing with. But I want to talk about lower and upper dead zones as well. So with lower and upper dead zones, you want this at zero. 512 as far as you can go on both sides reason being is because this is then this the portion of the dead zones that rewaz can work with if you shrink this now rewaz can only work within these parameters so you want it all the way to the outside zero to 512 don't shrink it it will mess with your rewaz de uh, defaults and it'll make it very hard for you to do like your your walk run and sprint um uh, dead zone key binds um, and it will just be very difficult and so 0, 5, 12 that's what I recommend highly highly recommend doing that sensitivity lower the better so I just put it at 0 and then adjust sensitivity in rewazed if necessary now with the angle this angle because it's your active default onboard memory profile is what is going to make it default in rewaz so what you want to do is mess with this now if I put it at negative 23 and accept it i'm going to close my eyes and push forward as you can see it's way off to the left right here okay that i do not want to do so i go back into these settings and because i know it's 26 but if i put it at zero say and i accept and i push forward it's slightly off to the left so i'm just going to keep reworking this until i find the perfect one which is 26. now what you can do is when you click on it you can use your up and down arrows to do incremental by one um, some people don't know that, so then they just constantly are, like, doing this to try to, like, get the perfect thing. But don't bother that. Just use the up and down keys, which will be very helpful. So I'm at 26. So I accept it. I close my eyes. I push forward. Boom. There we go. Like, straightforward. And you just do it a couple times, right? Close my eyes. Push forward. Close my eyes. Push forward. And then maybe, let's go, say, 25. Close my eyes. Push forward. Boom. Perfect. So that's saved. Now... Go to settings, make sure your rewatch support is on, and then you're literally just going to close your Asperon software. Don't have to ever open it again, and you're good to go. Now when you're testing this, what you'll do is go to a profile that has that's set to um, 360 movement. So as you can see, this is set to left stick and advanced settings, the default rotation, right? So just have rotation at zero to make sure that it actually worked going to apply it you're going to go to 
your gamepad tester. I'm just going to push forward. And because I push forward, it should go straight forward, right? It's slightly off to the left. I can adjust that. But then, right, you just close your eyes, push forward, and it's good. Make some small adjustments back in the Azeron website, and then that is literally it. That is what you need to do. Now, from now on, you will never have to go into your rewazd and adjust your rotation. That is really all you need to do in the Azeron software to prepare you and better set you up for your rewazd to have the full functionality of everything you need to do. And like I said, with that 0 to 512, now when you're doing your walk, run, and sprint for, say, you know, up high is, you know, say shift, right? And so then you're going to go down or left and right, right? If your sprint works left and right. Um, and then say for low is low up. And then say for s your low or for walk is control. So you click here, control. Now from that zero, left control walk. And then that 512 will be for sprint. And so you have more area to work with, right? But if you lowered that dead zone, then your movement would be very, very quick. You'd have very small windows to make sure that walk, that run, and that sprint worked. So hopefully this video helped you out. It's definitely helped a lot of people out when I've told them uh, verbally kind of how to fix this or through, you know, Discord. So if you like the video, uh, hit that like button, hit the subscribe. It's helpful. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.